hook. I think I'm with the boss on this one. Bless you, my pet. You're fired. <laughs> Mom's home. Has any mail from me been delivered at this address? I think I had some checkbooks sent here by mistake. You all look enervated and slightly demoralized. I pray this isn't entirely disturbing. Just in the neighborhood, I guess. Mm. My objects. Anything exciting happened today? It's your birthday. Every day is my birthday. Did you get any presents? Unsolicited visitors. This boy materialized. Yeah, yesterday. I was meditating. Sky. What was that? It was my birthday today. Nobody remembered. Not that I was receiving friends. I would have thrown beauty at them. Thrown beauty right in their faces to show them, to scare them out of my domain. But still death called upon me, audaciously to gloat. You back there? We all right? Uh, he was dressed like a suit, only his tie was a noose. God, that went out of style in the 70s. But you know what this godforsaken little creature said? You have nothing to be ashamed of. I could have murdered his children in front of his very eyes for saying that. I mean, what does that even mean? What's the implication even? That I'm unaccomplished in all my postures? That I didn't succeed to change, to prove, to glean, to lead, to make, to help, to love once in a while? Here am I almost rid of. Why a sale? Why vex a blameless wretch? Telling me the jig is up, redundant poltroon. He avails not the waning trample of my engine. only a bad dream. Don't patronize me, darling boy. It's my birthday. No tawny panty waist is going to walk away whole, affronting this survivor thus on her special day. And I said, the future est plein de l'amour. And I think the message registered because he skittered out of my sight like the guilty vermin. To unhorse these simpering lackeys, all it takes one pristine vow. And they steal off hissing back to hell. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Está fumadísima, se la pira. Finalmente no se está hablando. Está aquí. It 
it's unspeakably grand to behold you again. My terrible babies, my wonder kids. Can I ask you something, Woodrow? If you don't mind an honest answer. Have we disappointed you? Or your vision? Hmm. My dear one. My cherished ones. There's only one way you could ever disappoint me. We better get going. You'll exhaust yourself again. She's had an overexciting birthday. Goodbye. Bon anniversaire, ma mère. Thank you. Clarity. Now I remember the purpose of my coming. I wanted to say something prophetic about the future. Please. The night stars are the ghosts of desprised love haunting the universe. One day, when the whole thing starts collapsing, all of the energy will turn back upon itself. And in that crucible, the history of our pain will turn into another life. Future grows when we feed it pain, but soon enough it will be fed up. But what do we do until then? Kill them all. God will know his own.